It's a movie-ish about racing-ish, and I want to throw up right in its face. It's Driven on Sneaker Madness. Sneaker Madness. Sneaker Madness. Sneaker Madness. Hello and welcome to Sneaker Madness. I'm your host, Justin. I've got Sam and I've got Jackie here. What's going on with you guys? I'm pretty sure that movie just gave me diarrhea. It made me nauseous. I'm not going to lie. I uh, we will stop it halfway through. Before the movie started, I did not have diarrhea. And halfway through the movie, I had double chocolate mudslide. <laughs> In case of the green apple splatters. It wasn't green. No. <laughs> that would have been pleasant in comparison <laughs> to what happened in there today. Jackie has told us that she likes this film. Jackie. Actually, before we get to that. So the movie is over? I think so. Answer me this. When did it start? Oh, boy. God damn it. <laughs> That's Murray's sound. It's not very good. Yeah. Well. It's better than the movie. Yeah. You know, honestly, I liked parts of it. Some of it was kind of shitty, but I liked parts of it. I did not like the blonde ex-wife that married the other race car driver. Uh, Gina Gershon or Estella Warren? Gina Gershon does not have blonde hair. No, she does not. That's why I'm confused. The... Sylvester Stallone's ex-wife. Yeah, that's Gina Gershon, and she does not have blonde hair. She has brunette. That's what I said. The brown hair. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't think it matters. Let's at not this get point. mixed up on the details. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> as, as Sylvester Hold Stallone on. said when writing this screenplay, I'm not going to sweat the small stuff on this one. <laughs> Throttle body. Throttle body. Yes, I'm going to actually try to recreate the experience of this movie. Uh, I wrote down the random shots that happen. Oh God! And They're I'm just awful. going to periodically interrupt you by saying random things. Random things I because like that's what happened yep. in the movie. Yep. And uh, it's like he was. They shot everything. I think there was at everything. least two unique shots of Rennie Harlan's checkbook. But like in post production, rather than like speeding up the cutting or something, he's like, "No, you don't need to cut the movie faster. Just you know, show me a hot dog." That'll make it more exciting. Show me a wheelchair being lifted up that may or may not have a person in it. Maybe it has a person in it. I I just was I was dumbfounded by the shots. Show me some cleavage on a middle aged lady. <laughs> like I get that it's boobs. Great. Hey, there's boobs, but you can cut some of it. You know? And then like butts everywhere, the 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 race checker ladies. The, the Havoline ladies. Yeah, the team girls uh, all over the place. The Hawaiian Tropic gals that were there. Yeah. And just people milling about all the time. And then shots of, like, the characters, like, deeply in thought or, like, looking longingly at shit. And it stinks. I fucking hated this movie. I'm just going to get right to it. <laughs> I didn't like it at all. It made me nauseous. Uh, I don't... I, I'm... I'm at those one of those rare points on this show where I don't even fucking want to talk about this movie. Like, I was more excited about making fun of Mortal Kumquat than <laughs> I was, than I am about this. Because nothing happens. No, nothing happens. I <laughs> yes, it, something happens. There were some sweet crashes. <laughs> so, no, the crashes were they the worst. They looked awful. And they um, didn't... The slow-mo ones, though, that was pretty, that was pretty bitching. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Yeah, the slow-mo and the crashes are pretty cool. <laughs> I, I liked that. If you have a suspension of disbelief, you can kind of believe that that might happen. You have... <laughs> um, you're like, so right now what's happening is trying to defend your pick. You're basically like whatever that Miss Miss uh, US, Miss Teen USA with uh, Iraq and the maps. Because yeah. <laughs> of America. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> With your suspension of disbelief. You, you can believe. You can uh, believe that a race car would get thrown off the track into a flaming tree <laughs> and then <laughs> land in a lake. Upside down. Upside down. <laughs> and th they're worried about the tree, which the tree wasn't even really it's on fire. It's going to go. It's going to It's gonna explode. The car was already on fire. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Oh, my God. I'm going to. We're going to table. Some of this talk, because I have a serious question at the end of this thing. But uh, our first question, why does this movie stink? Give me your uh, number actually, one reason why this movie it. is not good. I will answer your first question with my first question. 
is this a movie? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is it a movie? <laughs> because you would have to have a story, uh huh, and events and characters. You have to tell. You have to tell a story. You do. You have to tell a story. Otherwise, I don't think it's really a movie. Did they do that? No. Yes. What? Okay. What's the story? What, of, what is what, the story, the story of Driven? Of Driven? Uh, there are some a race car driver kid, and his name was blonde haired guy. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even remember his name. No. Um. And then there was some guy who I'm assuming was French, and he was a bastard to his girlfriend. And then he kicks her out of the bus, and she has to go shack up with the other guy, the blonde-haired racing guy, because that's what racing women do. And oh. Sylvester Stallone was married to well, a different These bitch are all racing just lady. plot details, not story. I'm getting to the story part. and <laughs> That's just... what they said when they were making the movie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then um, Sylvester Stallone comes in to coach blonde haired kid. Broccoli. Broccoli. No, I'm just saying broccoli. <laughs> I just decided to insert. They inserted broccoli into the movie at one point. So I'm inserting it into the podcast right there. <laughs> oh, you still okay. have not got to a story, Jackie. <laughs> and there's some character. Okay, no, there's no character development. None at um, all. And then there's some crashes. Uh-huh. And there is crashes. Then one, two, and three on the podium at the end. Oh, and Burt Reynolds is in a wheelchair. That, which that's totally okay. Pissed not me a off. story. So, that is not a story. Now you made us watch part of this twice. Yeah, the Oscar nomination uh, that should have happened for Burt Reynolds. When so, what is Burt? Because I heard the words that came out, but I don't know what the hell he was talking about. What I have he, no idea. What he said. <laughs> no idea what he was talking about. I'm None. the slowest man in the fastest sport. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, yep. He's in a fucking wheelchair and I, his I guess legs that's burn true. every morning because he knows he's going to have to just sit around in that chair. And? And you had everything and you threw it all away and I had to watch <laughs> you. God damn it, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> what does it mean? What does it mean? It, that he was just a crotchety bastard. Yeah, old it means dude. he's just a crotchety old bastard. That's it. That's all it means. This screenplay is terrible. Yeah. I... It is the worst. I don't get it at all. There's characters and plot lines that don't fucking matter to anything. I'm using the rest of my questions. Okay. There's only one left. Has Sylvester Stallone seen a race? It's That's my <laughs> primary question is why? Why did he write this? What was his motivation? Because he clearly does not like racing because he knows nothing about it. And nothing. Yeah, like the fact that they have to be able to get out of the car in five seconds. That That's not possible. That's, it's not. Somebody and has to take off their steering wheel. Yes. Why? What was the inspiration for him to go, you know what? I'm going to write a movie about uh, car racing. Uh, because if you'd think it would be if I was going to write about something, it'd be something that I liked, maybe. Liked or I have seen about. at least one th- once. Yes. Like, I would not go out and write a movie about beavers. I've never seen one in real life. You would not be a be- good beaver movie writer. I would not make a good the movie The Life about of beavers. beavers by Sam. It wouldn't be any good. Not good. And Driven by Sylvester Stallone is not good. It is a bad so screenplay. Th- this is my theory. Helicopter. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> so my theory is that um, he met a race car driver. Okay. All right. <laughs> at a party. Sure. Okay. And they were doing some blow together, uh-huh. and the race car driver's like, you know what? Nobody ever writes about my feelings as a race car driver. <laughs> Nobody understands how hard and rough it is out there and how focused you have to be, and how if you hurt your foot, you have to hop on it ten times to prove that you can take the pressure, and you have to get out of your car in five seconds, and Sylvester Stallone's like, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. So he grabs a napkin, and he starts writing down like these little This movie was things. definitely written on a napkin. And uh, apparently the first draft was 220 pages. It's a very large napkin. So he he wakes up the next morning after his Coke binge. Race car driver's gone. And he's like, you know what? I can do it. I can capture all of those woes that that guy was telling me about. I, I don't think... think he remembered the race car driver's name. No. But no. I think that he had a napkin with some business on it. Yep. I, I And wrote a movie. I can't argue with that. I think that's a fairly good theory. Is the acting worse than the screenplay? Yes. Really? I don't think so, but what I will say is that uh, when Sylvester Stallone is in a movie where he's not punching or killing or doing things like that, Mm -hmm. you have to pay attention to what he's doing, 
And I just don't. What is going on with that guy's face? I don't know, man. It's like he's going out of his way to, <laughs> to make look weird faces. Weird. Like he pulls his lips down and then. <laughs> that was probably the worst part about this movie for me is that I could not understand what he was saying half the time. He is very unintelligible yeah so then you had to kind of guess based on his facial expressions and the other people that were in the scene expressions make no sense yeah and so there was like no clue there and so you were like i think he said car something about the car i I think we're going in that direction they're standing next to a car they're kind of looking at it i'm gonna go with it yeah it's uh oh my god Uh, now estella warren we should mention is the only one that won a razzie was she the worst actor in this film? I don't think so. I do not think so either. I Who thought... was that? Which one was that? The blonde. The I synchronized... didn't think she was that bad. No. I don't think she was good. I so... think Burt Reynolds should have won something for his cameo about being in a wheelchair. Yeah. Oh, he should have won a Razzie for that. And that whoever, was awful. And, and uh, who picked the music? My, my question is, who picked the music for this movie? BT. Um, was I BT? believe it was actually... What was the guy that did the... Casey Kasem? Because wasn't that like just every hit from 1998? Or pretty 2002, much. pretty or much. Whenever yeah. it was made. Yeah. It's uh now here's Awful. a fun fact. I owned a disc, a CD, BT back in the day. I had a BT album. So he was like a like a Moby like guy. Like one of those like uh Oh, I never got down with the Moby. Techno guys yeah. from the early two thousands. And uh, I like how they closed the movie though with Aerosmith. Did they? I didn't yeah, that was fucking Aerosmith. notice. Ugh. And it was not a good Aerosmith song. It's, it's, well, it's not as bad as Don't Want to Miss a Thing, at least. I was kind of hoping that it would have been that one. Amazing, uh, crazy, amazing. Crying, crazy, amazing. Crying. It's yeah. amazing. Anyways, yeah, the music's not good. Japanese it's, fist. It's not. There, it's never <laughs> ending, the music. No, it's never, wall-to-wall carpet. Wall-to-wall carpet. Constant vocal tracks behind dialogue. Good job, guys. Yeah, everything so, was vocals behind dialogue. I'm going to burn a question. Speaking of weird things that kind of don't fit. Why was French race car driver taco guy... Stand. <laughs> taco yeah, stand. Yeah, dude. Uh, was there a talk? I think there was. There was I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> so why was French racing guy training for a marathon? I thought he was just what jogging was... because he was sad. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get that. Like he's he's running up at the stadium stairs and then he's jogging on the racetrack and I'm like, what the fuck is that guy doing? Well, you do have to be lightweight. The goal to be a race car driver is not to be ripped as shit like Sylvester Stallone. You want to be lightweight. If you can yeah. shed ten pounds, you can shed a second off your goddamn time. Your lap times. Well, maybe not a second, but off your race time. It's huge. That you're thin. So do you think that race car drivers in general just... Why didn't they capture that one? The laxative side of race car driving. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta lose 10 pounds. I've always wondered how that works. What if you just get the shits right in the middle of a fucking race or an itch on your nose? The itch on the nose, I think, is the problem. If you gotta go, you just 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 do do it. it. Yeah, Yeah, you just get gushy. Yeah, you just do it. And then if you get caught on fire, it's... uh, You know, you've got a little bit of extinguisher right there. You just... Then just, you've officially had a bad your pants day. towards you, the fire. You got on fire while you already <laughs> had shit in your pants. <laughs> That's why your mom always tells you to pack extra, to bring uh, <laughs> bring extra underwear in case of an accident. Bad day on the track. Yeah. So, anyways, let's delve into this piece of shit. Oh, we haven't done that yet. No, I thought God. we were halfway well, through I the was, movie. Still hasn't. The movie <laughs> before hasn't we started. get too far along with the acting, we have to note that the guy that played the Bo, whatever. Bo? Yeah, the who's red Bo? car guy. The R- Brandenburg? Bo Brandenburg. Yeah, okay. He was very reminiscent of Tommy Wiseau. He was channeling it for sure. Yeah. He was not good. He was like. T- That's for, the French guy, right? I guess. I guess they don't give him a Razzie because he's a foreigner. <laughs> What's going on with that? He just gets a pass. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You know, it's funny that you should mention Tommy Wiseau, which. Because it's he two does weeks in a row. Up. Yes, it's two weeks in a row, but there is a total, you're tearing me apart. Yeah. I've got a note that says, Sophia, you're tearing me apart. That It's very reminiscent of a movie that came out just a year before called The Room. And uh, the whole romantic love triangle that doesn't really exist. Because, I mean, are are they boning? 
is by well, all right, let's get to that. So the movie starts out with a with a little tag that says that kart racing, nine hundred million spectators, two hundred and fifty <laughs> miles per hour, and then something I didn't catch at the end because I was just staring at the nine hundred million spectators <laughs> and going, uh um, Wait a second. Huh. Is that is, that, like, is that racing in general? The entire thing of racing of all time? Even foot races. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Trek and field. <laughs> <laughs> dog races, dog horse races, races. horse race, anything that's a race, you can put towards that number. <laughs> yeah, a fifth of the fucking planet at this time is into kart racing. <laughs> and I don't think so. They periodically, because I think I read that they wanted to make this about F1, uh-huh. and the F1 was like, no. Yep, go fuck Get yourself. away from us. <laughs> yeah, don't you talk not. to me, Sylvester Stallone. <laughs> and, uh,. They didn't really even pick, because Cart and Indy had split by this point, I thought. I believe it had, yeah. And uh, Cart was basically dying. Yes. But I saw uh, Indy logo, and I saw a Cart logo. So, And then they went to Germany, which neither... And Japan. Indy goes to Japan. Oh, yeah, I guess it's such sure it does. Runs to Tsuba. Do they go to Detroit? Uh, no. No, I There's don't think There's not a racetrack so. in Detroit. Yeah, that bothered me. Why? Because it's a shitty place. They could get carjacked there. Was that where it rained? No. No. It rained in uh, Germany. Oh. I think. I don't, I don't know. know. Anyways, 900 million spectators. Totally not accurate. Uh, there's this guy named Bly, and there's another guy named Brandenburg, and Bly's a rookie. He's This is his first year of racing, and he's tearing up the charts, and we get a nice montage of news clippings and guys talking about these two, and oh my gosh, this Bly guy's great, and then like, he's number one. He's clearly... Clearly number one at, at racing. But then there's like a moment where he starts having doubts and he, like the news knows about his doubts and his inner demons and, and talks about it. He has all of a sudden just he spins it around a couple times and he's no good. He's I, out. He's terrible. I he's hate washed up racing movies because they don't really take this one, especially it's just like he's never seen a race. But a lot of times you get racing movies and it's like. One or the other guys. If you win a championship in racing, sometimes you win like three races. Right. Yeah. And there's like 50 of them. Yes. It's really about keeping it in the top 15, not winning every time. Bly would have so many fucking points that it wouldn't matter if he even sh- never showed up. Yeah, again he could leave for the last half of the season. Yeah, it's really fucking stupid. Um, so like he's got there's too much pressure and like oh man being the world's best racer is like so hard on me cuz i have to stand and get pictures taken and there's chicks like squeezing my butt cheeks and giving me kisses and shit and oh man is this over i just can't deal with this shit his brother is the problem what does his brother do he whores out his brother that's his job he's his job horror is router. to basically Make his uh, his race car driving brother's life a living hell, and then take his money by making him get his picture taken. Yeah, public appearances. It's all gonna. He's turning him into a product, right? That he can sell. So for what his own, for his own benefit? You are a product when you're a race car driver. Yep. Your car is covered in sponsors. You need sponsors to do it. Yep. You have to. You cannot finance your own race program. You wear clothes with someone's logo on them. All the time. All you do, you're a vehicle for advertising. Yes, it literally. Yep. Yes. So this guy clearly is not prepared to be a race car driver. No. And anyway. his brother doesn't really need to be there. No, his brother's he does not. a dick bag. His brother is a dick bag and he doesn't need to be in this movie because his his plot line also doesn't matter. He's banging the leftovers. Nothing ever changes with like take, with any of the characters yes take any one of them out especially the brother the movie stays the same yes it doesn't matter no there is no conflict there is no resolution there is no journey none it's the only thing that i can even come close to being anything is that sylvester stallone's character makes people happy <laughs> <laughs> with his caring too much with his caring too much it would have been a better role for uh lambert. lambert yeah yeah he's 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 used to caring too much he could you imagine the lambert eyes on all those crashes oh yeah he would have oh. been devastated oh, no. that's probably why he turned it down because in real life he cares too much and had he done any method acting he would have actually killed himself with worry and grief yes indeed 
not actually killed himself because of worry and grief. They, it would, Diagnosis, it would. worry and grief killed this man. Yes. <laughs> he cared too much. He cared too much. He carried himself to death. Uh, so we also get introduced to Brandenburg and his... Semi-truck. His semi-truck. No, no, that was just one of the things that I <laughs> no, saw. No, we do get intro- intro- introduced oh, to his yeah. semi-truck, semi-truck because uh, Estella Warren and him are fighting for... Can Can somebody tell me why they're fighting? Because racing is not his life. What is she to him? And he was like, you're a distraction. And so she takes off her ring and bails. You are engaged to a race car driver. Yes. You. These are things you must be prepared for when you are engaged to a race car driver. They go to races. Step one, race car driver, I must race. I can't handle that. You You must stop this race car drivering. You must only sit on the couch and stare deeply into my eyes. I. What do you want me to do, Estella Warren? Well, I think that's what she was trying to do, and he's like, stop doing that. And then she's like, well, I'm going to stop doing everything, I guess. Yeah, she's like, if I can't do that, then fuck you. So she ditches her giant ass ring, and, and they're done, because who cares? Uh, there's a race in Chicago after that. Bly, huh. Bly tries to pass uh, Brandenburg, and uh, he clips his tire and spins out. Oh, no! Drummer. He's over. He's no good. This one stinks. We also find out that Burt Reynolds has an unquenchable desire to not have a winning driver on his team. Yes. This he, guy's... He wants... I think the, the whole idea of racing infuriates Burt Reynolds' character. He hates it. I he wants to be doing something else with these cars. Build a car pyramid? I don't know. What uh, why what does he want? What is his motivations? He wants to walk again. The, I get, okay. <laughs> so What does it have to do with anything else? Because this punk ass motherfucking kid is stealing his racing thunder and if he had working legs he'd still be out there and he'd show that little whippersnapper a thing or two. So he gets a racing team so that he can have young men whom he hates race for him. He wants them to not be good because he wants, he is jealous of the young men. That's what you're telling me? Yes, because they can walk and drive a race car and get babes. I just don't get him at all. He's Anyways. got a sweet mustache. What are you questioning yeah, it for? Yeah, all right. So there's just this. He's got to call in the ringer, I guess, which is to Stallone, not win races. To not win races. This time, uh, this kid's no good. So he calls in Stallone, who's like a mentor guy, I guess, to also block for him for for Bly, so that Bly can be the guy. But he has to drive a race car too. Is the problem? Yeah, and he's clearly the better race car driver. Like we were told immediately that he's the best, the around. best that's ever been. Why does he? Why is he unemployed? Why why what why did he stop being a race car driver? Well, obviously he got fat, duh. Look at how big that guy is. Yeah, he's too big. He's too big. Doesn't and they fit were the like cars anymore. Nope, we need we need to get it with a skinnier dude. Huh. Yeah, he's just he's just out in his like shop. It's out in the middle of like it's like Brett Favre's Wrangler pants shop. Like, oh, I've got some rustic stuff over here, and that's what I do now. Rusty, rustic. He was building his own race car. Yeah, Yeah, he was building his own race car. In a rusty, rusty... Out of rust. (laughs) He was building his own race car. (laughs) Brett Favre's Wrangler pants. Out of rust and shit. So he gets called in. He goes to the the racetrack where they're at, and Estella Warren's still there. I have no idea why she's there. Like, get you say she has a job to do? (laughs) Well, you said it was... I think, yeah. She said that she has a job. That's what... Stallone walks up, he's like, hey, you still work here? And she's like, yep. Oh, gentlemen, she has a job, all right. Uh, in the magical trailer <laughs> job. <laughs> Can be injured in those race car driving hands. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you can't jack off with your own hands. <laughs> yeah. yeah, dude, that's, you wouldn't want to... Not with your gloves on, at least. You wouldn't want to spring a wrist right before the race. That's true, that's true. So you got to have Stella Warren come in and give them all handies. <laughs> <laughs> that's ridiculous. Handy, handy on station. So... We find out also that Stallone was married to Gina Gershon before, who's now married to this Mimo guy, who is the previous backer blocker guy. You figure the other thing is the with the continual ignoring of how things actually work in the world of racing. You'd have three cars, sure, because I think they're trying to make it look like this guy's Chip Ganassi. Okay, Ganassi. He should have three cars. Okay, 
Two car teams uh-huh. don't compete for anything. Okay. And you want all three cars to be able to win a race. Yes, you would like all of them to be one, two, and three every time. Every time. Doesn't matter the order. Not, all right, you go out there and be a moving obstacle. This shit costs a fucking fortune. And potentially, I mean, just the concept of being a moving obstacle <laughs> by its nature, you're probably going to run into stuff. Like, you, oh, you're going to run into I'm, stuff. I'm, I'm in your way. I'm in your way. And then you crash your car every race. And those cars are not cheap. It is not in the owner's best interest to have crashed cars everywhere. No, it, it isn't. So, well, anyways. So, Stallone's there to back him up. He's not there to win races, but uh, he's, he's, he's the best, and he proves that by doing his coin thing. Now, this, this was cool. Don't you oh, even it's... start with this, Sam. This was an awesome, awesome thing. The coins weren't even real. <laughs> they were not. They, they were, were CGI, CGI coins. coins. I don't care. This was, this was badass. It was not. It was, <laughs> it was so really cool. not. It was so cool. Getting fit, drifting to get quarters stuck in his rear tires because of the heat that gets soft and squishy and then squish the coin into the tire and then you have tire coin, coin tires. It calms him down. Yeah. It's his coin trick. His coin trick. And he's the only one in the world that can do it. There's no way. Even Bly's like, that's impossible. This guy's the best race car driver ever. Clearly. Why don't, why don't we let him win the races? Yes. he. he there will be no competition for him at all. Ay, 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 ay. I loved this part. Yep. Okay. I thought it was cool. I thought it was way cool. When he's driving around the track, flipping up his coins, leaving him there on the track, and then the uh, pit crew's like, oh, one, two. Three. Yeah, that was amazing. He yeah, didn't, it was cool. Uh, it was it was just exactly like that too. I thought it well, stunk. Yeah, and then I guess he uh two of the coins were on the one side of the tire. Right. And the other one was I don't know like what they were doing there, like if uh he decided afterwards does Salone know that he got all three? Or? I don't know. But Reynolds does. Reynolds does. And because he's like, you know what I need is I need the best I mean, the best race car driver ever. To be a moving obstacle. To, to be a moving <laughs> obstacle. <laughs> so so dumb. It is so dumb. We also find out that he's that he hums when he's close to the edge. <laughs> so they call him Hummer. <laughs> yeah, the Hummer. They call the Civil War. Call that Civil <laughs> War. Yeah. And Gina Gershon. No, it would be funny if race car drivers didn't like, there wasn't blowjobs or sex. It was only... You need to masturbate for me so that my race car hands can be okay. (laughs) (laughs) My penis is too tough for this. (laughs) Uh, (laughs) Make a weird face when you do it. (laughs) Like Stallone does. Stallone does. That guy's the best. So now Bly's like, uh, race day's tomorrow. I'm going to go to this club. And he's there hanging out, and Estella Warren walks in wearing one shirt. <laughs> She's wearing a horse shirt. A horse shirt, yes. And uh, he's like, oh, hey, it's it's the Brandenburg's fiance or whatever. And so he instantly starts hating on her. Like, No, he knew that they had broken up. Whatever. There's sexual tension between the two of them. And then she magically gets a different shirt. <laughs> she So in, and she's holding the shirt. So I, th- I don't know if this is one that they tried to cover up. By putting the shirt in the hand, or if in character, she's like, I'm going to go out in my horror shirt. But then after 10 minutes, she feels bad about it and puts on another shirt. The problem is, is what she's wearing couldn't have been on underneath the shirt that she's holding. It could not. And when she walked in, she wasn't holding anything. Anything else. <laughs> so the shirt <laughs> number two is incompatible with reality. Maybe somebody else came up to her and was like, here, borrow my shirt. You look like a whore. <laughs> <laughs> seems like a place that that might happen actually and then they just go without a shirt yeah, yeah. and then just like topless <laughs> and then like less like a whore than you do, then you do. <laughs> it's just like well do you want my shirt like no i would look like a complete slut in that shirt yeah. i'm going topless <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also at the same time stallone and uh this reporter chick are having their own romantic things at another bar playing <laughs> never pool develops that never develops why is she even in this movie? She doesn't do any reporting. She doesn't assist anybody. I never see her with a pen. Never. Like she just is standing around with a headset on. Yeah, and like and these weird funky matrix sunglasses. And flirting with Stallone. That's it. She's just a random love interest that never develops. Like, oh well, Stallone's gotta have a love interest too, so I'll put her in, but they never do anything. It's like a second chance Does to get it all right. Even do anything. Touche. 
The thing is, is that there's two race car drivers that actually have one wins or the other wins. Every other person in this movie doesn't do anything, anything yeah, except for don't even need to exist. Mer- Burt Reynolds gets mad about stuff. Yeah. And about he's in a people wheelchair. winning races. Wheelchair. I'm not okay with the wheelchair. I'm just going to say it. <sighs> I don't know. I thought, oh my God, it's a Burt Reynolds. You don't put Burt Reynolds in a fucking wheelchair. So you should just be running around, kicking people in the face, jumping Camaros over shit. Yes, yep. and with a cowboy hat on. I would have liked that better than this. Yep, absolutely. Uh, yeah, I think Stallone owes us a giant apology. Um, Gina Gershon is walking around, giving Stallone guff about, uh, you still love me and I still love you, and... Uh, there's like tension there i guess and her husband seems to know that they're still in love but he doesn't really care because he's Stallone mimo. and mimo are such bros I such bros of s- what mimo is an asshole mimo is <laughs> a total douche <laughs> he <laughs> but he's like he's one of those guys that you don't like because he's so nice yeah you just walk all over him yeah yeah you know i don't like this the lady character gina gershon i i do not like her and i i just I fucking hate her so much i just I just wanted her to get hit by her a race character car. was awful. She didn't have motivation. None. But none of them do. She was no. just, none of she them wasn't do. even acting. That's just how she is in real life. Oh, stupid bitch. I, I just I hate this woman. So you hate uh. Gina Gershon and I and she gives me a, a secret boner. <laughs> yeah, I just you know how Not you so guys secret. It's, Not it's so like secret. Uh, it's like the burn notice guy for you. Yeah. Okay. And uh, me with Brandon Lee. Yeah. I just, I just fucking hate her face. Okay. Okay. I, I, I guess that's cool. I wanted her to get hit in the face with a tire. That I think came her into the character stadium. should have totally got just axed. I couldn't stand so her. So I well. <laughs> couldn't understand why something didn't. Mimo doesn't die. How is that possible? Table that question. Okay. Um. Or thought. It's race day. There's a crash. Lots of crashes. Yes. CGI crashes in, in this movie. They were all awesome. Joe gets called into the pits by Burt Reynolds, or Joe, I, Stallone. Joe is Stallone in this movie. Mm-hmm. And, uh, let me race! Let me race! And Burt Reynolds is like, hold it! Hold it! Oh, go, go, go now! And he, so he can pull out immediately out of the pits and block Brandenburg, which I believe is quite not legal. No, you'd get flagged for that. It would be a bad deal. That would that would be one of those things. If you actually did that, uh, you might not run all of your cars for the next week. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Uh, so he blocks him. Bly wins. Yeah, Bly's back. He's he's the best guy again. Yeah, he's so good. He's the and best in, in the world. Press conference now. Oh yeah, yeah, big big deal. And uh, they're like, oh yeah, Blythe, you're back and. How do you feel about losing Brandon, other guy? Brandenburg. Brandenburg. And Brandenburg's like, hey, sometimes you'll lose. And then Brandenburg looks at Blythe and is like, you're getting this one for free, little fucker. I also said that I'm going to go have lunch. (laughs) I'm going to go have lunch. It's fine. I'm going to go have lunch. If anyone would like to join me, and he makes direct eye contact with the blonde. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. She's so stupid, though, she doesn't get it. He's going to go get some clam sandwich. (laughs) Hey-oh! Ha-ha! Hmm. Trying to, trying to, <laughs> <laughs> a little a little toast covered in duck butter, <laughs> some country crotch. Oh yeah, <laughs> gross. <laughs> well, she's not interested because you know what she's interested in? Synchronized swimming. <laughs> synchronized swimming <laughs> by, herself. by herself. You can't do solo synchronized swimming. Because you're not synchronized <laughs> to anything. And Bly's just like sitting by the side of the pool. <laughs> she's like, hey, hey, look at me. Look at me. Look, look what I can do. <laughs> you know what it is? Like, if it's it's just pretty swimming. <laughs> pretty swimming. And she's doing pretty swimming. Yeah, and he's like, oh, that's better than swimming. She, it, but she and says, it isn't have really. you ever seen synchronized swimming before? And he says, no. <laughs> Never. No, what is that? Well, she doesn't ever swimming. say it. She just says it's swimming. And he's like, oh, it's more than swimming. And it, it's not. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty swimming, but it's still just swimming. Oh, God. Which, as we learned in the Prelude episode, that she started out as a synchronized swimmer. Yes, Canadian team. Yeah. She, yeah. Did anybody else notice the Canadian flags throughout this movie that were at the American race car or the race courses? I didn't. It was supposed to be like Miami. The one in Detroit was supposed to be di- Detroit, but there were all these Canadian flags everywhere. Well, it is there North was a race American in Toronto. cart. 
So it, the the North American part of it is Mexico, United States, and Canada. So yeah. usually at some sporting events, when you have a multi like hockey, there in almost all the hockey rinks, you have a Canadian flag and an American yes, flag in there. But maybe a little excessive if there's Canadian flags everywhere. We were supposed to be seeing Dutch or one well, no, of Finnish flags. Yeah, flags of Finland, but I didn't really see any. I don't know. Um, I did see Rennie Harlan. I did as well. He just he's one of those things that randomly shows up. Next next race pencil sharpeners is in Japan and uh Bly crashes cuz he just kind of tunes out for a bit. <laughs> like uh, I'm just going to stare off into space and then he drives straight into a wall, killing him killing instantly. Him instantly. <laughs> Movie over. Every crash in here the question that I asked in the point five was answered with a resounding yes. Every crash in here is like, nope, we're we're not racing anymore. If this is the sort of thing that can happen, nope. He not. The, he crashes in the exact. Uh, God rest his soul, but crashes in the same manner that killed Dale Earnhardt. Dale Earnhardt's you car do not didn't walk hit away from the that. wall that fast either. No, you your brain splatters against the front of your skull, causing you to bleed. From your brain. Yeah, it's not. You're not going to make it. Uh, neck could snap because they, they didn't have those. Uh, the Earnhardt device at that point. The little head keeper in her yeah. thing. Uh, he just walks out of the car. He's okay. Everybody that every crash in this movie is that they didn't walk away from it. No. And they always walk. Even, Quite dead. Even Mimo can do okay when yeah. he he flew a car that was <laughs> on fire. Like thirty feet into a lake after he already like, went through like a brick wall like or something like that. Football fields that he flew, but let's 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 get there. So they're having a party. Gina Gershon's there. She's hassling Stallone more, and he, she's she's hassling the reporter lady, and they have like this little cat fight thing that never goes anywhere again. He's still in love with me. You can tell by looking at his eyes. Your mascara is running. Fuck you, bitch. Yeah, and that never goes anywhere. He's not in love. He's clearly not still in love with Gina Gershon because he never makes an attempt on Gina Gershon at all. Nor does he make an attempt on this reporter lady. Why are these people in this movie? I don't know why the reporter lady is in the movie. So at the also at this party, I don't know why Sylvester Stallone is in the movie. Not either that he wrote for himself uh -huh. to make funny faces in. Yep. Oh, he's the mentor. Oh, is he? He, he does is. make everyone happy by the end. Estella Warren, at the same party, she decides to flip-flop. She's back to Brandenburg. Were Bly and Estella Warren ever romantically involved? No. I don't think that they were. He's one of those guys that gets horridly trapped in the friend zone. He was in the friend zone. And then he just loses his shit and goes like John Cusack holding a boombox mm -hmm. crazy mm -hmm. over the deal. Uh masturbates to furious climax after watching pretty swimming yeah that's about it that's about that's as deep as into that relationship as he can get yeah but it was some pretty swimming <laughs> and he does the classic freak out he drives the car all over the yeah place. They, they she leaves him and he's like i'm gonna steal this car that's at this party which is gassed up and ready to race across town it was the the latest and greatest in racing it was going to change the racing and they were introducing these new cars. Yep. With gasoline in the tank. Well, they drove them through the little mud puddle thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think that he has a full tank of gas. roll them out. Yeah. And a lot of times they don't even have engine. When they're doing the... Uh, yeah, a lot of times when they introduce the new chassis, there's not even an engine in that no, car. No, They just roll all. it off of a trailer and like, this is the new one. Yep. Because there's no engine in it because you guys are the ones that put engines in these things. That is correct. No, he cannot drive this car, but he does. And then Stallone gets in another one and drives after him, and they drive out into the streets and chase each other and shatter a bus stop window. Yeah, and flip over a manhole cover. Yeah, and ruin a newsstand. Flip up a lady's dress so we can see her butt. There's a lot of butts in this movie. <laughs> oh man, well you know, Stallone likes butts. Uh, Brady Harlan likes butts too. Butt man. They high fived each other. Yeah. <laughs> Not after they watched it. They were like, wait a second. <laughs> Did we do this? The chase ends when Stallone gets in front of him and they both spin out. And then they just kind of walk off and Stallone gives him an inspirational speech. And then they both get thrown in prison for the next six months and then aren't able to race the rest of the season. Movie over. They'll never race again after pulling a They'll stunt like that. They'll never race again. 
Yeah, but they don't get arrested. They don't get it in just trouble. cuts to a plane scene. Plane scene eating pudding or something. <laughs> yeah, they're playing with spoons. Yeah, which they don't get to that explanation later when he's the spoons are the race cars. It just looks like these they're playing with spoons, and then the one what is it, Bly? He Bly, yeah. like flies his spoon into some jello and then eats it like it's funny. And <laughs> oh, then goes here Why comes are... the airplane. Well, yeah, exactly. It's like you're an idiot. That's your problem. <laughs> But it's fun. It's fun. These guys are fun. But hey, Sylvester Stallone, Joe, and uh, the reporter lady, they're romantically sharing a pudding. Yes. Yes. Two spoons, one cup. Uh. (laughs) Yeah. Um, That's similarly titled to something else that is (laughs) irritating. So Joe gets benched. Burt Reynolds wants to bench Joe because I guess he's not doing it. He's doing. So I need you to mentor the kid. So he starts mentoring the kid. He's like, I'm going to bench you. Put Mimo back in. Put Mimo back in because you're doing exactly what I said. So fuck you. If this kid doesn't win this race, he's also getting fired. Which doesn't. Even though he's number one in the world. You keep a car in the top 30, like whatever it is, whatever the bottom area that the isn't the same five cars or whatever that cycle out. Like if you can keep it in NASCAR in the top 35, you're making all sorts of money. Yeah. So, Germany, this is the Germany race. Mimo is like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the guy. I'm not going to be a moving obstacle. I'm going to win this motherfucker. Right, because his bitch of a wife is like, just let him drive. And when, <laughs> since when do wives get to talk to the team? In the pit. In the pit. Like, I get a headset too. And so do you. So do I. Everybody's she, got a headset. This was her best outfit in the movie too. It was all denim, completely skin tight, like a jumpsuit type of thing with some fucked up hat a really dumb 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 hat hat. yeah Yeah. and a denim hat to match that was so tight around her head it was like the tight denim day (laughs) because the hat was even tight on her head denim day here at uh (laughs) the nurburgring in germany make sure to bring your denim and make sure it's tight yeah it's like they sprayed her with a hose it shrunk up onto her head and then they (laughs) curled her hair around the hat if your skin turns purple from lack of blood oxygen you get half off tickets (laughs) Blood oxygen. Blood know. oxygen. Blood oxygen. So there's also a storm we should mention. A huge thunderstorm, super rainy. When was the last time the F1 ran in the rain? Uh, they changed the rule. Well, we know we because we saw 70, Rush. 78, And right? they changed the rule after, uh, uh, what's his name, crashed in uh, Burn. You, no, there's no racing in the rain. Yeah, but it was like 78, wasn't it? Uh, when was those two guys? It was like 78. Yeah. 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 So that was the last time F1. American open wheel racing, as far as I know, is never run in the rain. I don't think it's a good idea because whether it's safe or not, on you, you lose a lot of traction, but you can't see shit. You don't have fucking windshield wipers. Yeah, you can't see shit. You would just be crashing into everything. No. But in this movie, they, they run in the rain. And this is when we get another sweet, sweet CGI of what it would look like yeah. if you were in the car with rain falling into your visor. And how that would the racetrack would look to you. Blurro vision. Yeah. But then there's also other cuts where it's non CGI'd facial viewing the, shit. The rain computer effect is one of the worst that I it may be the worst I've ever seen put into a movie. Because the drops worse than Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Just this one effect was worse. Mm. Oh, it was so bad. The Mortal Kombat. <laughs> yeah, Mortal, Mortal Kombat. Kumquat. It holds holds the bar. Mortal Kombat Annihilation well, on bad effects still. It would have fit right in with the special effects for that yeah, movie. Yeah, though. it doesn't look good. The raindrop, like, <laughs> they're vision. moving at the fake visor at, like, two second, uh, two miles an hour. It doesn't. No. They're, they're, they are shaped like... A drawing of a raindrop, and they're suspended in the air. Indeed. So Mimo's going to win. He's going to pass Bly, and he's going to pass Brandenburg, but uh, he also kind of tunes out for a second and clips uh, Bly's tire, flies through the air, and uh, hits, hits the wall, bounces up. Cars are going underneath him. His car goes into about 14 pieces, then it catches on fire. Then it catches Slow on... Slow motion, oh, people. Oh, it comes back down. Another car hits it. We never under- find out what happens to that guy who probably now doesn't have a head. Yeah, he doesn't have a head. Mimo goes flying into a lake that is in a different state. He flew through a tree on fire before he hits the lake. Through a tree on fire into the lake. <laughs> The tree catches on fire, 
but it, it doesn't. Like they couldn't get the tree to actually catch on fire because it was computer generated fire. Right. That looked really bad. Pretty bad. On that tree. Yes. Explodes. <laughs> Bly's like, I gotta help him. So he flips a bitch mid race, goes the opposite way of traffic to get to him, just drives through a field <laughs> that's there. Now to this the is river lake thing. Fun because he drives through the field, but then Estella Warren gets on the headset because you can do that when you're somebody's girlfriend, right? Yeah. And she tells what's his face, Brandon Brandenburg. Brandenburg. You got to go help too. You got to go help. Stop racing and go help this guy. Meanwhile, the the emergency workers they're they having a piss. They don't even <laughs> start loading up the truck <laughs> no. until after both other drivers are already in the water. I. And I've got it, chicken. Hold on a minute. <laughs> yeah. And uh, previously in the movie, usually before the car hits the ground, they're already halfway there. They're, that's all they do is they, they don't have to load up the truck. They're sitting in the truck waiting to go. Yeah. Well, and they, then we they don't know where they they're at. We can't find them. But guys who are two feet off the ground in narrow visibility helmets can find him. Exactly. Uh, also, there's a helicopter that doesn't the, have the, any means of communicating. We should have put a radio in that <laughs> helicopter. Whose helicopter is that, Pete? ESPN's. Is that the TV's? No, that's... You know, we had that helicopter, and I hired a pilot, and, like, he's on it. He's over there. He knows what he's doing, but, uh, yeah, I didn't put a radio in there. So. Because I just, I just got a helicopter, because I think helicopters are sweet. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to have a helicopter. Yeah, yeah he's pulling a looky-loo. <laughs> so they pull him out he's drowning he's okay there's fire oh we got to get him out of here before the tree falls into the lake that's on fire well no as there was gas in the lake and fuel. so they were fuel it's not actually gas yeah. it's methanol it's an alcohol okay so fuel. there's fuel uh leaking out of the car also blur burns crystal clear you cannot see methanol on fire yeah you just see this you see the heat signature yep so we see yellow flames. Doesn't work. They well, will. I... The graphics on the car will burn yellow, though. Oh, yeah. I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Oh. But the ground was on fire. <laughs> that's a real bummer. I was I was really into the scene. <laughs> oh, yeah? Now that I know that the flames weren't real. You want to know another one? Uh, They're like, there's, there's going to be fuel on top of that water. It'll ignite once that tree hits it. Uh, it's alcohol. I have mixed alcohol and water together. It does not sit on top. It is not fucking gasoline. It's ethanol. Yeah. Idiots. And the car was already on fire. Quite on fire. It was like, that tree's going to... The car is on fire. That if is... you're worried about that tree setting the car on fire, you should just check out that the car is on fire. Yes. And drowned man inside of it. A, it he doesn't make it. He doesn't make it! <laughs> so he's dead when he's flying through the tree on fire. Fully dead. <laughs> but then... The two dickheads show up and drowned him six or seven times. Uh -huh. Just keep like, oh, we got you, Mimo, and then they dunk him back under there. Mimo has been exploded. <laughs> His body has been shattered from impacts. The guy at the beginning of Hot Shots got it. Got it. Didn't get it as bad as Mimo just got it. As I've mentioned before, his brain has been turned into uh, baking powder. And now he is quite drowned several times. And then he gets exploded again because the tree does fall in. The whole thing goes up there. I guess there's still fuel all over the fucking tank. And then it explodes. And there was a, a big flare of unspent fuel. They all died. They all died. Yeah, they didn't make it. Yeah, it just it was looked like napalm. Yes, it did look like napalm. So anyways, they get him out of there. Hey, well, you guys are heroes. Bly hurts his foot somehow. Wait, wait, oh, what'd you do? I hurt my foot. What did you do? It, so it's a foot hurt. They got you in a walking boot. It's a hurt foot. <laughs> because of your foot hurt. Does he have broken bones? Did and he's brain it? in the hospital laying in a bed uh -huh. with a hurt foot. <laughs> he spent the night because of foot hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor, what's the diagnosis on this patient? Foot pain. <laughs> it's foot pain. <laughs> it's got some pain in his foot. Uh, better, better keep him overnight for observation. Yeah. You don't know he could have gotten a blood clot that moved up from his foot and killed him at night. <laughs> <laughs> Laying in a hospital bed. Yeah. He should be fucking walking around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so now he can't race, or can he? Oh, good lord. 
Bert wants to fire Bly again. He did. Uh, yeah, he, he did. fired him. He fired him. Yeah, no, he, he works didn't... with the the Swarmy brother manager mm -hmm. to terminate Blight's contract and go after Brandenburg for well, their race don't do team. That. Oh, I've already done it. Well, then undo it. No, I can't do that. Yeah, and this is when we have the big emotional scene between Sylvester Stallone and uh, Burt Reynolds. And Sam so nicely said, does anybody smell an Oscar? And we had, we started laughing so hard because it was such, such an awful scene that I actually made you guys back it up so I could, so I, I could hear so what they were saying. That's the thing. We backed it up. We watched it twice. I then heard what he said. It wasn't like those Pivotal. words meant anything. <laughs> we're, nope. What's he, he is... trying to accomplish? Is he trying to like motivate Stallone? Like, oh. I'm shitty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shitty, and you had it all, and I'm stuck in this goddamn wheelchair, and my legs are on fire every morning. We got to do everything we can to win, which is my behavior's in stark contrast to that goal. <laughs> <laughs> and then Stallone just doesn't say anything, just turns around and walks off. Walks into the rain like a true hero. Ay, ay, ay. So the brother ditches Bly for Brandenburg, and we don't fucking care. Stella Ward doesn't care. She punches him in the face like, we don't want you here. Nobody wants you here. You shouldn't be in this movie. Lighthouse. Oh, yeah, that weird lighthouse that was just like in the middle of the, <laughs> the film. Like they did a flyover by it. No, there, there was actually a pencil sharpener in the movie. <laughs> like, why am I looking at this pencil sharpener already, Harlan? This is really like race day, pencil sharpener. <laughs> Lighthouse. <laughs> so Bly's like, I can race, I can do it. We gotta get in the car, out of the car in five seconds. Okay, great, whatever. Now you gotta hop on one foot on your Burt <laughs> foot for ten times because Burt Reynolds doesn't want you to be the champion. He doesn't. Now come on. This... He was testing him to make sure he could actually push the pedals. In the car. No, he was doing it to see if he could handle the pressure <laughs> of foot pain. The foot pain. The foot pain doesn't seem to enter into the race at all. Like, once he starts no. racing, his foot seems to be fine. It doesn't make any difference. And you notice that at the end of the race, he is not limping he or anything. Perfectly. He is in... Maybe by the hopping, he was able to line <laughs> things back up and cured his own foot pain. He jumped up and down a couple times and realized... You know, I might not have foot pain. <laughs> yeah, that was like the big pivotal moment of character growth for this movie. And it just was not. No, there was no character growth no, there. It was no, like, I, I no. can do it. <laughs> like, turns out his foot, his foot isn't hurt. <laughs> he is cured of foot pain or never had any to like, begin with. On ABC Racing, these ninnies, I can't do this anymore. <laughs> So he can he can race. So it's uh, between him, basically, and Joe Stallone and Brandenburg. The entire race, nobody else matters. Well, th before we go into this, like we're we've been watching a movie about racing that only has two competitors, uh -huh. and then we see the drama of all of the racers, and these are real race car drivers. Yes, they, they show. are. That's true. Montage, and it just does this really long. It is the fourth montage that is in this movie. And it's very long. Very long. Yeah, they're dropping their kids off at race car daycare. They they're kissing the pictures of their kids and taping them into the inside of their fireproof suits. They're kissing their weird little idol thing that had googly eyes. This guy taking the, a nap. Yeah, there's one guy like taking a nap. <laughs> Tony Kadon is taking yeah. a nap. Like they end with that guy. Yeah. And, and then Tony it's Kadon. and it's not just like a pan over this guy. They stay there for quite a while <laughs> watching this guy sleep. Yeah, it's kind of creepy. So the race Good night, starts. Sweet Prince Tony Kanon. There's plenty of crashing in this race as well. Many, many. That's why we. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. <laughs> Again. Again. The people would. No more racing. This is what happens. Because there was a wheel landed in the stands. Stands, and it didn't hit anybody. Didn't it was hit very anybody. final destination. No, wheels go into the stands and two people die. Yeah, it's oh, it's tragedy not a good in deal. racing history. Yeah, no, you can't avoid them. And you certainly, if you avoid the first impact, because, oh my god, there's a tire coming out me, I should move. Once it hits, it will then bounce right into your face. Sometimes the, <clears throat> the rubber rips apart when it hits the metal. Like, two people dead is the best case scenario for a tire in the stands. It could be like 
18 people dead. Yes, it could then make the supports for the entire stadium uh, Oh, it can, it can then, just uh, go bad. Yeah, yeah this... then everybody dies. That's Final Destination. That's a totally different movie. It's, it's more realistic than this one. I believe I, I could suspend my disbelief to uh, Final Destination. And I'm just going to say, I can on this one. that tire was so, so badly done. Yeah, it oh, looked like shit. Yeah. Did, when, did you notice when it hit the stands, it broke some stuff? Uh-huh. I looked at what that... St- the only thing in real life that those could have been were, like, floor tiles. Or, uh, like, styrofoam seating? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, they, like, broke them in three, like, conchoidal fracture. On top of the stands, the stands didn't get broke. These these floor tiles that were on top of them <laughs> got broke. Fl- it's bring floor tile day. And then it, like, bounced straight up through the CGI camera. And I guess it goes away forever. It's gone forever. Yep. It no goes problem. harmlessly into, uh, it floats away as if it was a balloon. Somebody's new chair. Yeah. I'll sit in this tire. Uh, so they race. They're going at it. And they're all, the three of them are in the lead. And uh, Joe well, starts actually, humming. Well, actually, Bythe has to start uh, number 26th back. Okay. Because he didn't qualify. Yeah. Uh, earlier in the day. Oh, they uh, get to the front pretty fucking quick, so it's no problem. Yeah. They're, they're passing guys because they just need to go a little bit faster than everybody else. The, if you Not push... make better churns, mind you, just push the pedal further down. Did you notice they had uh, the... They used, like, it was a stick shifter? Uh-huh. They, didn't, they don't have those no, in they do cars. Not. No, they do not. So they were showing parts of cars that don't exist, like... Shifting anyway. I'm like, oh, let's shift. Now we can go faster. Now you can go faster, which is a staple of the fast franchise, and I like it. I don't like it in movies about actual things. Yeah, racing. Yeah. Um, Joe starts humming. He's he's gonna do it, I guess. And he like jumps the track. He fucking takes the lead by jumping his car over, over a, a corner. corner. Stupid. <sighs> but he fucks up the car. It's pointless. The car breaks. Tires all shitty and. You gonna make it? I get all of this lead. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was really good. Because it was like you actually sounded like a, an an actual fussy <laughs> Sylvester Stallone. Oh, what are you doing? Do it. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> that, was, that, was pretty, that was a pretty dumb move that I just made. It was a dumb move that he just made because now he can't win. <laughs> Is your car gonna stay together? No, it's not gonna stay together. For <laughs> <laughs> wheels coming off of it. <laughs> He should have reached out and grabbed onto the tire that's coming loose and just held it the entire time. <laughs> the strength of his will. And he goes into a spin because his tire breaks. Bly and Brandenburg cross the line. Bly wins. Joe spins across the line. But he finishes third. He finishes third. But podium. he should not be the automatic third place winner for the championship. I think that that but was just the podium now. for the race. That was just the podium for the race. Oh, the way that they advertised that was, yeah. Yeah. this is the new champion. And these other two. This guy that didn't even make even half of the races. Not, he raced twice. Three times. Three, two, two times I before I am to this. assume that he does about ten races. Damn, no. Just by the process of yeah. the film. How there's, he, there's a montage of racing where he hasn't been kicked out of the car yet. Yeah, maybe. But he missed the first half of the season. Yes. Or more, maybe. Who yeah. Knows? Either way, they give him these great big bottles of champagne they all look at their special ladies in the stand. Uh-huh. Um, Freeze frame credits. But Bith Stinker staple number 10. Wait, but Bith doesn't look at a lady. He just looks at his brother and gives awkward eye contact. Like, you tried to fuck me over, you piece yeah. of shit. Now I'm the world champion, but Face. it's okay. Face. I'll go back to the bad situation I had with you. Right. Because I'm a winner. And Sylvester Stallone's like, enjoy it, because it's not going to last long. I'm Which, the best you know, it's true. around. Nothing's yeah. ever going to bring me down. Yeah. yeah. Give me your questions. Or well, you I used them up oh, man. most of my, I used them all up. I can, Jackie, because the other one was the same one as yours. Is what is this movie about? Uh, yeah, you got, you got something for me. So, who had the best race suit? None. I don't give a I shit. I don't care. Stella Warren's st- pretty st- Stella, swimming. No, I think that is Stella Warren's onesie? horror shirt is the best costume. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll give Junior Gershon's uh, tight denim day. Outfit. I liked the green dress that her butt was almost coming out of. That was like, yeah, that was a really pretty dress. I actually liked that dress. I just don't like her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't care about uh, guys' uniforms. Uh, who's the protagonist of this movie? Burt Reynolds. <laughs> no, he's the antagonist. Is he? 
kind of. No. Adversity is He's... the antagonist of this film. Adversity? Yeah, like not not being... Not believing in yourself and not trying hard enough. Yeah. Not living to your potential. That's what this movie taught me, is that if I'm not living to my potential, I can jump on my foot ten times and magically get my act together. Let me put this into simpler terms. Who's the main character? <laughs> Ooh, well, that's a good one. Who um, is this movie about? I well, it, I, I don't think know. it's supposed to be about Blythe. Bly. Is it Bly? Bly. It's three letters: B L Y. I think it's supposed to be about Bly, but then it's equally also about Brando. Brandenburg. It's Brandenburg. Brandenburg. It's about and Estella Sylvester Warren. Sylvester Stallone. And Estella Warren. As much as it's about anybody. Yeah, so those four kind of take the cake. And, Nemo uh, kind of comes in there and tries to steal the show yeah, for a little bit. Yeah, he like, does. And Especially with his so... hospital stay. I mean, he was just milking that that whole thing, trying to keep himself in the movie. There's like... too many main characters in this movie. No, there isn't any main characters. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There isn't any characters in this movie. There's talking props. and uh... Some race cars. So is the movie about the world of racing has become too fussy, so <laughs> Burt Reynolds brings in Sylvester Stallone to cheer everybody up. Because maybe, oh, I yeah, don't I don't know. know. That's all that really. That's all that happens is that Sylvester Stallone comes and cheers everybody up. Pretty much, pretty much. My question uh, that I've been tabling and that we uh, kind of have been flirting with is: What is the body count of this movie? Body count. So body count. Nobody body count. dies, but it should have been about seventeen. Actually, that tire is a wild card. <laughs> Bly dies. He dies twice. No, he only crashes, no, he only the, one crashes time. the one time. Uh, Mimo definitely. Mimo did not make quite it. Quite dead. Uh, I think I saw maybe four or five other race car drivers die from their crashes. Actually, no, because there's also the guy that gets beheaded by Mimo's car. Yeah. And then there's a huge pile up where the there's beginning... just cars falling on top of each other. No, I'm in the, that tire. It... And then the tire. So I'm thinking it's the number in between in between 17 and 28 people. I think it's the number between the numbers of 4 and Jason X. I think this is Hollywood nobody died cuz it's magical. The magic of friendship. Yes. And the magic kept, of racing. Yes. Kept everyone alive. That's right what this up movie's there with really the magic about. of the trailer. What are we going to call it? Do. Whoa. I loved it. What? I r- really want to know how you loved it. I fucking hated it I and think it's this a total is... like masculine dude movie oh it's duty i thought this was one of duty all right the least entertaining films i've ever seen it was very boring very dumb not exciting i'd like the unrealistic crashes i thought they were funny and i liked how everybody was trying to win an oscar and it was just i was just kind of totally shitty and i loved it by the time the reynolds thing happened i was so far off board that it wouldn't it it wouldn't matter the the montages and the editing and the (laughs) random objects there's just so much of that that there's not enough content to even be able to stand getting to the bad acting the bad acting is definitely laughable but a nice cut of this movie like let's take 45 minutes off of this fucker i might have enjoyed it it might be fun yeah because you could get rid of some of the CGI bullshit. Yeah, I liked it. I say do it. You could edit out Sylvester Stallone jumping the corner and just have his wheel come off. Yeah, you don't need it. You don't need any of it. No, I don't like it. I say do not, even if you are a fan of racing, and even if you are a fan... Especially if you're a fan of racing. ...of Sylvester Stallone. Yeah, I I just hate this movie. I hated it. Yeah, Yeah, suspension of disbelief is definitely... Uh, a, a need to watch this movie like you can't really know shit about the movie is supposed to suspend your disbelief you don't like come in with chains suspending your I disbelief so that you can spend. slog through driven <laughs> i loved it i am going to staple my eyes open <laughs> and sit on a pile of thumbtacks so that i can pay attention to every moment of driven I should mention the uh, IMDb review that I saw. The title of it was Eyes for Sale. (laughs) Eyes for Sale, yes. I kind of want to sell my eyes now. I loved it. I don't care about you two. I thought it was cool. Well, there you go. Uh, Next week, we will have our special guest, Martini Shark, from Twitter, our good friend of the show, come in and uh, do Fantastic Four, 1994's Roger Corman's Fantastic Four. So that should be fun. Uh... You guys got anything else? No. This one really took it out of me. Email us at talk at Stinker Madness and tell us your thoughts on Driven. And uh... You didn't even give me a chance. Okay. Jackie? I loved it. Please watch this movie. Mm, do not. <laughs> no. <laughs> but uh, give us your thoughts on it anyways. And in the meantime, get to the chopper. 
visit us at www.stinkermadness.com. Follow Stinker Madness on Twitter at Stinker Madness. Please rate and review us on iTunes and Stitcher. Thank you for listening and get to the chopper.